In this video, I'll give you a live example of what happens when you do a trailing profit. But you'll see here I have a couple positions here. These are kind of test positions just to set the parameters. But you'll see here right now on Waves, for instance, this position here. If I refresh this, what's happening is that Waves is getting, it's, it's rising, right? And I put a profit at, I think, 6%, but then I put a deviation of 1% on the profit. So on that, how that works is basically you're entering a position here, right? And you want to set the trailing take profit to like, you know, I don't know, let's say 14%. And then you can put a deviation of 1%. That means that basically if it goes up to 15, you'll be cashed out at 14. If it goes up to 16, you'll be cashed out at 15. Does that make sense? So basically that's what's happening right now is that it's basically it's waiting to see what's going to happen right so that's a position right here this position on elf elf is kind of pumping relative to elf i guess you could say it hasn't quite hit my take profit uh my level yet when it hits that then it would that the same thing would kick in here and then it would cash me out at kind of the what would be the optimum price right we'll see where we're at here uh you'll see on a couple of these positions i'm almost at my stop loss here uh, this one here, it's just almost there. This one here is down as well. And then this one here is down as well. That's typical for me, uh, for my positions. Uh, usually when I first enter positions, I'm down just because I enter positions on a downtrend. And then there's usually room below me. And then I like to have some support above me. So this is usual on this Knowles position though. This one actually is a little bit getting close to my stop loss. So obviously... Uh, it's, it's continued to dive since I entered and it didn't hit my profit potential as well So I might be stopped out of this position, which is fine. That happens. That's the way it is, right? So this tool is awesome. Uh, I like it a lot. It's something that uh, Once I once we really we've been using it, but I don't feel The word I'm looking for is I'm not at the point where I really totally know the best parameters for a lot of these things so I'm getting close when I get that then I'll do more videos on kind of what parameters to set and the best way to kind of set these things and how it works best okay so just wanted to do this video just to show you kind of active trades and process the biggest thing is that when it gets to this point where it's doing a trailing profit you can't change anything you don't see anything because it's actively trying to figure out where's the best exit right things are kind of volatile in that current asset at this time so interesting uh it's it's a great tool link is down in the description the discord group if you if you're new to the video or new to the channel here you can subscribe and then the discord group you can join that as well where i call trades and and uh actually basically call out where btc is throughout the day as well i look forward to seeing you in the next video